A very warm welcome to all of you to another lecture in this series on simulation of communication systems on uh, MATLAB. We have discussed uh, different modulation formats and we have discussed their coherent detection. I naturally never said that we are discussing coherent detection, but in general we have seen that we transmit a symbol SN and we receive SN or vector symbol SN and we receive YN equals SN plus WN. All of these are vectors, these can, but for most convenient cases, these can be considered as scalars. So, YN equals SN plus WN. We receive this and uh, we try to detect to detect the SN that was sent. That is uh, the entire story till now. So, now in this, this we have assumed that SN is not scaled or altered in any way. SN is not scaled or altered in any way, but practically let me add a few slides here. So, the channel model is like SN This is the channel, but now we have a slightly different uh, or uh, practically we have a slightly different beast our, at our hands. The channel is what? What is the channel? The channel is a physical propagation medium or it is a uh, like a transmission line uh, air or free space in both of these cases, both of these cases, the signals are sent as modulated electromagnetic waves through the both these cases the signals are sent as modulated electromagnetic waves through the channel. So, now the question is that if the signals are sent as modulated electromagnetic waves through the channel then what happens? So, then naturally you can do this in an electromagnetic course, but a dumbed down version of what happens to the signal is that naturally the signal can be seen as passing through an electrical network. The signal can be seen as passing through an electrical network. So, this passage now, we have uh, done enough network courses to understand that through an electrical network will result in the signal 
being multiplied with a gain signal is multiplied with a gain right so all electrical networks all two port networks have a gain associated with them so y n equals some h times h is the gain s n plus w n so now this h since everything else is complex valued h also be complex valued and this contains the effect of the wireless channels also introduce some h that uh, will be the topic of discussion when we discuss or when we talk about wireless channels and uh, wireless propagation effects this uh, please do not confuse this h with that so to avoid that actually let me call this gain g it contains the effects of attenuation through the network arbitrary phase shifts and other propagation effects arbitrary phase shifts and other propagation effects so this is there so now yn equals g sn plus wn fine so if the transmitted signal was or sn was a or plus minus a then yn equals g plus minus ga plus wn fine and correspondingly d so in the bpsk case so everything gets multiplied by g so first let us consider a simple example first let us consider g to be a random positive real number let us consider g to be a random positive real number we are not talking about the distribution of g we are simply saying that g is a random positive real number in that case case every thing that passes through the channel gets scaled by g everything that passes through the channel gets scaled by g and we get say we use bpsk with or 2 pm with amplitudes plus minus a we get yn equals plus minus ga plus wn right so instead of uh, this so the symbols symbols are now placed at plus minus ga of plus minus a symbols are now placed at plus minus ga instead of plus minus a or the distance 
between two symbols reduces or changes from 2a to 2ga this inter symbol distance changes to 2ga consequently consequently given a g g the probability of error becomes pe given g equals q of root and not and the overall probability of error of error averaged over all g's is this expected value of q of expected value of g q of this this piece so this gives us the overall probability of error for different g's and uh, this can be shown to have different distribution or uh, different values for different distributions actually let before moving forward let us try this out for different value or different distributions on g so we'll go back to matlab we we'll close this we look at our qam example m equals a tile let it go and constellation is simple minus 1 1 so this is the case this is the case when we are talking about uh, the simple binary phase shift keying type solution or binary phase shift keying system and like that so uh, this legend needs to go now the legend needs to go and uh, this needs to be so this is the symbol error probability and uh, this is it so this is the uh, coherent detection case now let us say that i introduce a random gain so g times s plus w so now let us introduce this random gain as uniform between 0 and 1 so let g be uniform between 0 and 1 so if i run this again i will get another bit error rate but that is for a fixed g and g is fixed at 0.6332 so now let us replace g with something else so let me it should happen actually let me run this again 
the value of g in tau this is g 0 0.1 All it should mean is uh, a scaling. Oh yes, this needs to be multiplied with g as well because now the points will be closest to the set g. So that I forgot. That's why the error. G is very small. Ah, and uh, we are getting a one problem here is that we are getting a different G for each signal to noise ratio and that is causing this problem. So uh, we actually have to average over G. So let me first do one thing. Let me first fix G. say and now let's repeat this because now the g is fixed rather than variable so we won't get those variations so evaluating the probability of error across different snrs for the same g now it was a coding issue we need to be careful about that so this and if i plot this We get this g and uh, setting g equal to 1, I get this setting g equal to 1. So, right now this was for g equals 0 0.82 and uh, we will get another plot which will be for g equals 1. So, we get a better probability of error performance for g equals 1 but this is for a specific g, a fixed g. Let us say we have uh, to average over different g's that is uh, what we intend to do or on an average let us say if we want to average over g then we generate a random g and uh, we average over that for all the cases. So say g equals because of the ergodicity so, I can take G anywhere inside or outside. Let me take G outside first, it will result in an identical performance. So, this N should be outside, number of symbols should be outside. So this and this, this and when I run this, oh sorry, this G should be 1 to 1. and this should be for the specific g and this should be for g c1 because uh, the gain for that instant and when I run this the figure is closed so let us repeat this actually now it will work fine so First, let me do it for once and then we will do it for for g, all g is being 1, we get our usual better performance of BPSK which is seen like this. Now, let us do for a uniform g between 
0 and 1 this I run this again and we will see that uh, we get for the uniform distribution we get a much worse performance for the gains uniformly distributed between 0 and 1. So now let us look at another case where this is exponential or uh, where so let us look at the case where this is Rayleigh distributed. Rayleigh is the envelope of a complex Gaussian that is a very standard distribution. So let us look at that. So for generating a Rayleigh distribution or ra rather let us first look at an exponential and then look at a Rayleigh. So G1 is this and uh, going back in our slides we have seen how to generate a seen how to generate a uniform distribution or we have seen how to generate a, an exponential distribution so yes minus of log 1 minus u. So, this and so g will be exponential now and if I try to do this I will get uh, this averaging over the exponential distribution. So this is the exponential case slightly worse than the uniform and uh, Rayleigh I will repeat this if I repeat this again for the square root I will get a the Rayleigh distribution I will get this for the Rayleigh distribution and Rayleigh performs slightly better than the exponential and the uniform and so I will just copy this here and go back to the last slide that we were working on. paste it here and just label these so no randomness this is uniform this is this is exponential this is rally so this is uh, a symbol error probability for different cases as a function of the SNR. So we see that uh, for a random gain, the expression for symbol error probability, the symbol error probability behavior of a system changes. So this was for a random gain. Uh, in the next lecture, we will talk about what happens when we introduce a random phase, and uh, subsequently we will talk about non-coherent detection. Thank you.